So I am so excited to be sailing to Alaska next weekend, going to be heading up to Alaska on Holland America. I got this cruise for $1,200 Canadian or roughly 800 or roughly $900 American. I'm going to be sailing for seven nights up to Alaska in a balcony cabin. I mean, I, I hope it's a balcony. It might just be an inside cabin or an outside cabin. Actually, I might not even get on the ship. So why the self-doubt, you ask? Well, you might recall a couple of months ago, I told you guys about Holland America's new standby rate. And what it is, this whole program is super insanely inexpensive. $49 per person per day, that's US, is all you pay. And that's for any itinerary anywhere in the world. Now you're gonna pay the port taxes and the, all the taxes and stuff on top of that extra. And that will vary based on your destination. But for 50 bucks a day, this is insane. The only catch is you're booking it as an inside cabin and you don't know for sure if you're going to get on. And in fact, you won't find out until between two and seven days prior to sailing. Now, if it's sold out and you're not able to get on the ship, they will fully refund you. Then you pay it in full when you book it. But if you can't get on, they'll give you a full refund. No problem at all. But if there is space, then you'll be sailing on the cruise for an insanely low price. But also... If all of the inside categories are booked up, then they might bump you up into an ocean view or even a balcony. So this is where I'm coming from. I looked about a month ago and there were absolutely no spots available left on this sailing for Alaska. Holland America was completely sold out, but not just for this cruise. I mean, Holland America cruises to Alaska from both Vancouver and Seattle. They're pretty much sold out until the end of the season for all sailings. There's a few categories that are available towards the end of the season, but by and large, these ships are sold out. So knowing that, I got up this morning and I was gonna do some more research and do a video about that saying, you know, if you wanna book Holland America for 2025, book it now because <laughs> these sailings are getting sold out and uh, like there's almost no space left for 2024. So book it early to ensure your space. <laughs> So I get up to take a look at availability and reconfirm everything. And lo and behold, not for the sailings before, not for sailings afterwards, but for my specific sailing, all of a sudden there's availability. Not much, but a little bit. And maybe it's just enough. And the really cool part is that there's no inside cabins available. There's only two categories of ocean view rooms and five categories of balcony rooms. So if I am going to get on the ship, Chances are I'll either be sailing in an ocean view cabin or I might even be lucky enough to be in a balcony. I mean, how cool would that be for 1200 bucks Canadian to be sailing to Alaska in a balcony cabin? It really doesn't get any better than this. I mean, this is a start your car deal, right? Here I thought I'd pretty much written off the cruise and now I'm like, well, maybe this is a pre-travel week <laughs> and that kind of changes plans. So there's a little bit of stress involved, a little bit of anxiety. It's like I said, it's not for everybody, but it could be a really cool way to um, get a really inexpensive deal on a cruise up to Alaska. I just probably won't know until maybe later this week. Um, worst case scenario, I'll know, I'll find out for sure on Thursday, <laughs> by Thursday, if I'm sailing on Saturday. So not a huge window for packing, but fortunately, <laughs> I've done that once or twice in my life. So fingers crossed for me is not only to get on the ship, but also fingers crossed that I can get into a balcony cabin and I'm gonna tell you all about it. So hopefully I'll get on the ship. <laughs> if you are enjoying the story and you're curious to see how this little adventure goes, it's been quite a year of adventures this year so far, um, but hopefully all good ones. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications. And then you'll find out for sure <laughs> if I've done videos to tell you that I'm on the ship or that I'm not, <laughs> but stay tuned for the adventure. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you on the next one, hopefully from Alaska. <laughs>